Market conditions remaining mildly bearish in this bull market, having a bit of a short-term pullback still. We're looking at momentum, which is hovering between that hold range and that bearish trend location. Also seeing breadth continue to be slightly positive right here at 0.69 and seeing sentiment still in the upper end of that range here as we're pulling back you can see we've got a little just a little bit of a tick back down pulling it off of those really extreme upside levels which is also a good thing right here we're seeing uh, the buy sell ratio sitting right at 2.55 so still strong breadth still strong participation in this rally just seeing some larger names having some retracement some pullback and some rotation happening right here as well if we take a look at the indices spy uh, i've got has a pretty significant area of resistance happening right around this 546 location and you can see now we're on the underside of that 236 location here and we'll see if this you can see these two uh, topping tail bar locations right around that 546. If we run into additional resistance, that may turn things back down, potentially retesting these locations on S&P 500. You can see just not a real strong market right now on uh, the S&P. Uh, we are seeing strength in small cap, Russell 2000, a little bit of a pullback yesterday, but in that upper momentum zone, that uh, symbol is IWM for the entire group of small caps uh, dow jones industrial average dia is the etf here also in the upper momentum zone a little bit of a pullback there but you can see it's on the other side fighting for that support right there that 405 range on dow we'll see if we find any additional strength and support there today we're also seeing uh, bonds continuing to have some strength here uh, which again which is what we want to see that means interest rates are coming down anytime we see this chart moving higher uh, that uh, interest rates associated to that time frame are also coming down. We're seeing SHY, which is the shorter term of the bond yield curve moving higher as well. So that's, we want to see this. We want to see shorter term yields moving higher. We also want to see longer term yields moving higher, but just not as fast as shorter term, because remember what we're dealing with. We're dealing with this bond yield curve that has the short end of the curve here. We're at 5.38%, and the long-term yield is less than that. So we have inverted inversion on the three-month and the 30-year, and we want to see this come down a lot more aggressively this one this one can actually stay where it's at it doesn't have to come down uh in fact you know we, we wanted to see it come down a little bit but this end of the yield curve has got to come down so that we get a more healthy perspective that looks a little bit more like this we want to see this happen and the, typically that happens at bottoms uh, stocks typically do not like these inversions we'll see how this pans out let's jump over to sectors we're seeing some strength here in sectors overall with a few more stocks a few more sectors i should say in that buy zone uh, less and less in the hold range we've only got technology still which is uh, still in that significant downtrend and we'll see if it, we're any near near support at all 50 percent retracement location now this is iyw the uh, triple q's are probably going to be similar to that pattern it is right at 50 percent so a lot of work for technology stocks to really recover and get back up into a new uh, shorter term uptrend we've got to get break back up above that 468 range on the triple q's let's look at commodities right here we saw a decent day in gold just at least a holding that momentum zone that 219 range also seeing slv uh oops that's steel still actually having a nice couple of days moving higher slv is silver uh potential bottoming tail bar there at 2484 but still showing a lot of weakness and uso also showing significant weakness uh, here as well this is the price of oil as we may be closing out the summer rally i didn't last too long there let's take a look at some muscle stocks for the day we've got a handful of names that are in here seeing these weed stocks these cannabis stocks uh, up and down right here having you know, trying an attempt at a rally this was not a good looking buck uh, a, a candle right here this bar was kind of a topping tail bar we're seeing those showing up in this list uh, also seeing uh, some nice names here in the uh, in the aerospace construction area you're seeing ldos which has got a nice increased volume good confirmation bar in that momentum zone and uh, also seeing uh, some of these uh, some of these uh, technologies and biotech names keep an eye on that new buy list lots to choose from here or at least some interesting names to consider for the day that'll do it for today's update everyone have a fantastic day today